than we mm. have been. But we've Earth. also got a pretty cool thing up in the sky right now. Yeah, you can see it right now. You have to wear a jacket, though, because it is a little on the chilly side, mm -hmm. as you mentioned. We've got great photos from sky top aerials right here in DeWitt, New York. And this was at 3.30 when the moon was full. And he's got a series of photos he's been sharing with me. And I'm going to put these all together for some social media later today. And this was at about uh, 4.15 in the morning. At 5 a.m., it was nearly fully obscured. I can't wait to see that totality. It was a little after 5.15 actually happening right now. But it's getting tough to see as it's getting low to the sky. Plus, there are some clouds out there. It is clear to partly cloudy in Syracuse. And in some portions southwest of Onondaga County and the Finger Lakes, it is mostly cloudy, although the clouds are moving along. So hopefully you get to see it just a little bit. Generally, our next weather maker is a fair weather of high pressure. It is a lot of sinking dry air and a lot of chilly air as the wind flow has been coming in. Those gusty winds out of the north northwest yesterday, driving down our temperatures into the 30s right now. And most spots in Syracuse will start the day in the 30s and not get out of the 40s. Pretty persistent light breeze today. Less wind than yesterday at about 5 to 15, maybe a gust of 20 miles per hour towards the midday in the early afternoon, putting a bit of a chill, a bite into the air. But it's going to turn even colder later in our seven day forecast. Now with this high pressure over the next couple of days, I am forecasting a lot of sunshine. This warm front goes by. We're going to win more out of the south by tomorrow afternoon. A huge temperature rise from frosty cold levels tomorrow morning. It's not at records, but it's well below average by tomorrow morning to eventually near 60 degrees. And it will make it well into the 60s by Thursday afternoon going into Friday. Veterans Day temperatures are going to be a lot warmer. Then we have to watch out for the remnants of a tropical storm coming into Florida on Thursday night. That will bring us some rain by Friday late afternoon and Friday night, especially when it could be heavy. So it's pretty quiet for today. Those temperatures on the chilly side this morning. It'll probably feel like the 30s with that light breeze here at 11 a.m. A little bit gusty as we get towards midday in the early afternoon with a high temperature of only 48 degrees, lower 40s in the coldest spots of central New York. And then going down once the sun goes down and it's before 5 p.m., we're falling like a rock. 30s. Some spots could be close to freezing already here by 8 o'clock. And eventually, I'm forecasting colder numbers than this. 26 in Syracuse. Uh, there will be some spots that will be in the lower 20s, possibly the teens for the Tug Hill. I think the Adirondacks will drop into the teens. Bright sunshine tomorrow. Nice warm up, less wind as well. Dry air will get close to 60 degrees. I'm forecasting 60 there and then not as cold tomorrow night going into Thursday afternoon. We're into the upper 60s. There will be some clouds coming in towards Thursday late afternoon and especially the evening and those are going to thicken Friday morning. So a nice stretch of weather. It's cold today, tonight especially, but then moderating with the sunshine and less wind. There's my pick day. Veterans Day Friday rain arrives mid to late afternoon. Could be heavy Friday night. Early morning rain tapers the scattered showers Saturday. It's breezy. We fall late in the day, only 50. 42 with lake effect rain and snow up east of the lake. I think the southern Tug Hill will get accumulating snow. We could even see some snow showers here in Syracuse Monday morning.